All right, so I've got the clay I want to use today. Um, I want to make sure that I wedge it before I do anything else. When I'm wedging it, I'm also going to be hydrating it because if it dries out, we're going to have a very hard time working with it. Um, now, when I wedge, it's not a really complicated thing, but we got to make sure that we're doing a couple of things so that it doesn't get out of control. I'm always going to stand up. So right now I'm standing. If I'm sitting down and I'm trying to press down with my arms, it's just going to make my arms tired. So I want to make sure that I'm standing. I'm going to press and rotate down slightly, and that's it. That little press, that little press down on my side is all that I did. Now I'm going to have my hands wrapped around it and bring it up towards me just a little. Just a little. So you can see. I'm going to press and lift just a little. Now press. If you have a really large amount of clay and this is too difficult, break off a little bit and do just a little at a time. That can work in your hands. So I'm going to wedge this over and over. Eventually you get a nice little groove going. Now I'm not, I'm not pushing with a lot of force. Um, if your clay is starting to get really dry and really hard, then you might really need to be pressing down on this. And if that's the case, what I'm going to do is flatten it out a little bit. Get a little water here and just rub it on the surface. I'm not going to soak my surface. I'm not trying to make a big sloppy mess. Just gonna get a little water on there. I might fold it into itself and then I'm gonna wedge. I'm gonna do this for several times until it's not wet anymore. If I end up getting a bunch of water all on my counter space, I'm gonna be sliding all over. It, uh, it makes a big mess. You go and try to wedge and it just slides across on you. It's also eventually gonna start making really sloppy, sloppy clay sit on the outside of your project. So don't get it too wet. If you're starting to flatten out or get really long and big, make sure that when you're pressing, you are using your hands to keep it together, using your hands to compress it towards the middle while you rotate. So this is gonna help you with your wedging. All right, I've picked up most of the water and everything that's on the counter. Water to this. Hold that over on itself. Now, at first, it gets a little slippery. Just have the patience to get through it. As soon as you wedge it a couple times, it's going to start getting the water all mixed in. Alright, at this point, it's nice and Now I have some really good soft clay here. I can squish it easily. Um, when I squish it, there's not a lot of cracks showing up in it. So that's some good clay to work with. 